Okay, so all we're going to do in this video is uh, we're going to take that global light estimation value and we're just going to make sure that's being applied to our own custom shader that we make. Of course, from there we could you know do whatever we want with any 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 crazy crazy shader ideas, but we just start really simple with a, a standard surface shader. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it materials. Okay, and inside here I'm just going to create a new material, and I'm going to call it uh, mat. I'm going to call it custom. I'm also going to yeah. I'm also going to create a, a shader, and I'm going to call that. Uh, that's going to be the standard surface shader, and I'm just going to call it SAC custom. I'll say custom light. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to open up that shader, and all we really need to worry about is we need to scroll down to this uh, where we're in the surface. So this is where all the all the calculations are done. This is the kind of the 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 meat of the meat of the shader. Just above here, we're just going to write uh, fixed four. Uh, fix four, and we're just going to write um, what is it called? It's called underscore global light estimation. Okay, that's that, that's uh, that's going to say oh, okay, find the variable called global light estimation. If we, you know, like uh, uh, for example, these variables up here, that's another similar one, color, except that's a local variable that was declared at the top here. So it's kind of similar, but yeah, the global one's kind of been declared. Uh, elsewhere. Okay, so now all we need to do is up in here, this be this uh, where, where we're where we're where we're getting that color. All we need to do is we need to multiply this entire thing by our global light estimation. And actually, that's not meant to be a fixed for. That's just a ready. That's just a regular float. So yeah, we just call it a fixed, and we're just going to multiply this entire thing by this global light estimation. So if global light estimation is one, then it's going to be like full light. If it's zero, it's going to be like no light. Okay, so we just multiplied by global light estimation, and we can save that, and that's all we need to do. Okay, now to apply this, just go into our map custom, and in shader, scroll down to custom, and here it will be here, just saying shader custom light, and then we can make sure that we're looking at our uh, our custom Andy, which from memory is the higher one, and then we can just drag that one up on here. Okay, and what we can also do is we can select the select the Android texture, the Andy texture, so that he looks the same. And yeah, you might notice he's a bit, sh a bit uh, shinier than this other one, uh, but by default, by default, the the standard shader is what you'd call a specular shader, which is kind of like like water or or metal, you know, like this this reflection flat flat a flat reflection, and this standard this standard Android. Uh, AR core shader is a diffuse shader, and that's more like a like a rough surface, like a rock or something like that. So you notice how you know ours is a bit shiny, and theirs is a bit bit matte. We can also turn down our smoothness, which might kind of bring them a bit more a bit more of a even comparison. Okay, and now we can go to go back to our custom environment light, make sure it's all working, and you see they're both changing color the same. You know, you can imagine you can imagine what this would look like if we were to run it. But actually, what, what I figured might be a good idea is instead of using our custom one, which you might notice didn't really meet that maximum brightness that we were looking for, we can disable our custom one. Now let's enable this environment light. And remember, that's a prefab. This isn't from the this isn't from the Hello AR example. This is actually a part of the SDK. So this is something that would be using a lot. So yeah, let's let's give this a build. All right. So here we are with our little dudes, and now they've got this really good brightness. I'll see if I can turn the light off and see how that affects it. Okay, they're, they've been quite nicely affected by the lighting. Turn the other light off, and now they're really dark. Our one's got a bit more of a nighttime glow to it, and you know, these are all settings that we can play with. See, it's, it's lost, a, lost a bit of tracking in the complete darkness as well. But yeah, so I mean, yeah, so I guess that's the that's the kind of the uh, the yeah yeah like I said the kind of the meat of the the the, sh the process of creating our own shaders for for this custom light um, feature of AR Core yeah I'd love I'd love to see what others are gonna uh, yeah whatever whatever ideas you have of some interesting shader you want to make with it 
like what I haven't seen yet is actual uh, pixel specific. So, you know, oh, on this side it's really light, this side is really dark, you know, how would that affect it? That sort of thing. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you, if you have anything, feel free to share it, it'd be awesome.